Some residents in the area and staff of the company, while reacting to the incident, said the attack took place on Wednesday evening at Krimborg Construction Company. By my observation and the study of the situation, they just came to, to just destroy, destroy. Shooting because we have large number of people here. Even the the, the, the white men who are the, the white men, they don't actually sleep here. But they came at about past eight in the night. So the white men don't sleep here. So they, you know that the mission was there to just maim and kill and destroy lives. It was around eight thirty. During there was a rain yesterday. So when we had that a bomb blast, bam! After the next three minutes, we're under one again. We we're thinking it was just a motor that we do training at Technical College. But later, when we were making a course, it was then we discovered that other bandits or terrorists they came to attack this place. So what we know is they surrounded our company from any angle. They did not even pass through this uh, entrance, but we just made them around the building and our equipment start shooting. A victim of the attack, Lawrence Riguman, who is responding to treatment in the hospital, recounts his experience. They shot me and my brother yesterday night around 8 o'clock and I came back, I forced myself, I entered inside the uh, gutter, the crib, the IC or Kadama will carry me to the hospital. That is why I am here. Thank you. Spokesperson of the Ondo State Police Command, Fumi Odolami, confirmed the incident but said three persons were injured during the shootouts in the town. She urged the people of the state to be calm as the affected area has been cut off while investigation has commenced to unravel the masterminds behind the attack. The Commission of Police and the command as a whole, we are calling for calm that investigation has started concerning this issue and we will get back to the public with our findings. We want to also urge our people to please, this is not the time for us to start peddling fake news, please let us be calm. We'll get back to you and tell you what exactly happened after investigation. Odulami said she could not confirm if the attackers are terrorists or bandits. From Cranebuck Construction Company in Nowa, Jonah Omowa reporting.